day, good day, my people. Thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for supporting my channel. I have a lot of recipes coming your way, a lot of good things coming your way. Please do not forget to subscribe below. Also share and like, and of course that bell button that is going to let you know right away as soon as I upload a video, which I will be doing twice a week on Fridays and Sunday. Okay, so let's get started. I'm very excited about my recipes, and I'm very excited of sharing what my family been eating for years with yours. Thank you. Okay, guys, that we are getting ready to make a hibarito sandwich. So here's our steak. Okay, you could ask, uh, use any protein, fish, or chicken. I have a lime. I have fresh garlic. I have my onion. I have some salt. I have black pepper. I have white vinegar, ketchup, mayo, my green plantain. Okay, and also I have here... My spinach, you could use lettuce. You usually use lettuce, but I like spinach. And some tomatoes, okay? So here I am crush, crushing my garlic into a paste with a little bit of salt. All right? I'm chopping up my onions. Now, we are getting ready to put together the seasoning for our steak, okay? I like to season my meats a couple hours before or a couple days before. So here I added my onions and my black pepper, okay? And you could put as much as you want. Now I'm adding some of my crushed, pep uh, crushed garlic. I have about four cloves of uh, garlic right here. And I like mixing it together. Now here I am squeezing a half of the lime, okay? So a little bit of the lime juice. Lime and vinegar, guys, it, it helps uh, tenderize your meat as well, okay? So here I'm adding about two to three tablespoons of vinegar and about one or two tablespoons of olive oil. Now mixing it together, okay? We always want our seasonings to dance together, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and season it with some salt. You could add as much as you want. I don't use too much salt, at least I try not to. So now I'm adding my steaks, okay? And I'm gonna let these steaks Marinate for a couple hours before I cook them. And if you could marinate it the night before, even better. So here I'm massaging it, giving it love, right? And we're going to go ahead and cover it in a few minutes and put it in the fridge. Next, we're going to jump into our sauces, which we do the same thing. Here we're making the mayo ketchup. I'm gonna go ahead and add about a clove of the garlic. Here I'm adding some ketchup. Uh, when I'm making the mayo ketchup, I use about the same amount of mayo and ketchup, but it's up to you. You play with the seasonings and you get the combination that you like. Also, some people, sometimes they even add cilantro to the mayo ketchup. I like it just like this, but it's all preference, okay? And now I'm stirring it. You want it to look like a light orange, almost like a peachy color. You stir it, make sure that garlic distribute all throughout, and it's pretty much done. Here we are getting ready to make our mojo sauce. I have heat up a little bit of olive go um, oil with the garlic. See, it looks like a little brownish. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add my red sweet pepper and my cilantro. I 
I am going to stir it. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt to it. And I have the fire on low, guys. Make sure your fire is on low. You don't want your garlic to burn. So I'm going to let it sizzle for a few minutes on low. Now I'm going to go ahead and add sour orange juice to it. I would say about, I don't know, a quarter of a cup or so. If you don't have sour orange juice, you could always use regular orange juice, lime juice. It's all preference, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and stir this. At this point, I could put my fire on medium because the garlic is not going to burn because of the juice. And let it sizzle for a couple of minutes and it's done, guys. Now here we are going to peel our grain plantain. For those of you who don't know how to do it yet, you, make, you cut the ends, you make a slit on the side, and you try to take it apart with the knife and then the rest with your hand. It should be able to come off, and if it doesn't come off all the way with your hand, use the knife again, but be very careful. So here it's already peeled up. Now we're going to go ahead and cut it right in the middle, the long way. And try to cut it like right in the center. And, and this one, I cut one side a little thicker than the other, but it's okay. Um, it still will work. Now we're going to take it to the frying pan. And I have my fire on medium. And I'm laying my plantain slowly. Okay, guys? Do not drop stuffing oil, guys. Do not. Or you're going to get burned. So while the fire is on medium, I'm going to let it continue to cook in each side a couple minutes. And I'm going to continue to turn. So it could brown up evenly. So now it's pretty much done. Now we're going to take it. Here I have lay a piece of foil on top of my counter. And I'm going to go ahead and lay my plant. And you see, beautiful color. And I'm going to use my cutting board to mash it. You just press it as lightly as you can. Beautiful color, guys. We're going to repeat the process again with the second half. See that color? It is beautiful, right? So now I'm going to teach you a technique that I grew up doing in my household. So your plantain could be tender inside and crispy outside, but not dry. So here I added hot water to a little bit of garlic powder and salt and letting it dissolve. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my mashed plantain to it. You only leave it like less than a half a minute, like 10 seconds. Now... Softly, I'm going to put it in the frying pan again. Do not drop it. Be very, very careful. And my fire is a medium, guys. Medium high. So now I'm going to let it cook and turn it back and forth for a couple of minutes. And it's going to build a nice crisp and nice color to it. Make sure your fire is on medium high so it does not burn. Look at that color, guys. Look how beautiful that looks. 
and it's very crispy in the outside but tender in the inside it's not dried up that's be a little bit of oil but it's okay look at the beauty okay drain it really good if you have a rack to put it on even better I'm just using paper towel but a rack works even better so now we are getting ready to make the steak. So here I'm going to add a little bit of my liquid seasoning from the meat. Because I like to brown it just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and add about a half a tablespoon of olive oil. And I, I, I shake it just like that. As you can see the liquid like brown up a little bit. That's what I want. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add one of my steaks in it. And guys, when I tell you it only takes a couple minutes to cook this steak, that's all it takes. I'm going to add a little bit more of my liquid. And since it has marinated for a couple hours, it tastes great. And if you could do this the night before, even better. So as you can see, look how quick it is steak is cooking, guys. And look at that color. And I'm telling you, it is so delicious. I tell you. And it's so it's such a quick meal because you could prep things ahead of time. And when you get ready to eat, like I mean the steak and the Plantains only takes a few minutes to cook. I oh, mean, it's, it's just really good. So as you can see, like every half a, a minute, I turned it. And it's done, guys. Now we're going to plate it. So here I'm going to grab a piece of my plantain and put my mayo ketchup. I like putting my mayo ketchup toward the bottom with my veggies. And you could put as much as you want or, or less. It's up to you. And I'm going to put my spinach. Like I said, usually you use letters, but I prefer spinach. So you adjust it how you want it. And my tomatoes. And my steak. And here, guys, I thought I was recording when I was putting my mojo sauce in top of my plantain. But that's what you see. And here's the sandwich, guy. And I'm telling you, it's so delicious. So enjoy.